Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest 1. And in this episode, I will be going south to Rimaldar. And once I have got the magic key from Rimaldar and had a look round, you know, talk to any important NPCs. And I don't remember if there's any treasures I can collect in, in rooms that require the magic key. Once I've done that, I will pause the video get the grinding done necessary to face the first boss, the green dragon, and then I'll defeat him and save the princess. So without further ado, it is time to get into it. So once I've defeated the green dragon, that's probably where I'm, well, I'm going to head back to Ludatorm, but that is where I'll end it. So the ghost just, you know, straight down. No messing around. So, of course, now, well, I mean, I've said the three requirements uh, for the three items that are necessary for getting to, I do want to say Zoma's Castle, but it's no longer Zoma's Castle, it's the Dragon Lord's Castle. Anyway, for some reason, you get faced up, but... You just want to go straight down. I don't know. I don't remember which one of these little alcoves leads to the green dragon, but I know it is one of them. Only this is the meda or the meda. Don't know what you want to call it. To be honest, you know. Could have got that first. Do 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 do. Bang. Down it goes. So, I said most of it is literally just a straight line. And then you go to the right and you wrap around. You can see this. Actually, no, you cannot see the stairs yet. Anyway, giant scorpion that needs to be fireballed. I want to go this way. Oh, no, I don't. I did go the right way first. Yeah, that is it. Right, it's making it to uh, Rimmeldar, which will be the problem now. So it's straight down from here, but you get, like, werewolves, skeletons. Or... Oh, no, I've got a mage. That's lovely. That's exactly what I wanted. See, if you remember the layout of the map, you'll... Uh... No, that it's located like you know surrounded by water here so I'll have to go inside wrap round and go all the way around the long way a wolf fireball it's not what you want I do want to make it to Rimmeldar though. Anyway, fireball. That'll do. So I'm going to do any shopping and stuff as well off screen. So I'm going to get enough uh, money to probably not get, not the full plate armor, but probably the iron armor. And, you know, anyway. Yowie wowie. I didn't say I didn't say flee. Well, didn't mean to, I didn't intend to flee. No, 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 no. Bang. Of course, one more battle before I get inside. Didn't make it. I couldn't save it just in case, though, but anyway. Mm. 
Oh, it's going wrong. Nice. I'm here in Rimmeldar. Hang on, yep. You've got the uh, the two lovers. So yes, it was referenced in three, and it's here as well. Again, I can't believe Rock is late again. What the hell is he doing? Hmm. <laughs> Anyway, I want some magic keys, please. The defense seed? Oh my god. No way. Would you like a magic key that will open any door? One key is only 16 gold. Yep. You can get up to five. Oh, there's six. Wait, yeah, how many have I got? I can get up to six magic keys, nice. And here is Rock. That's right, I'm Rock. What, my girlfriend is waiting? Crap, this place looks like the place where we were going to meet. She's probably so pissed. <laughs> Sounds like she is. Thanks for telling me. To show my thanks, I'll tell you something good. Walk four paces south of the bath in Myra and search around. You should find a good item. I need to think up an excuse for Nana. So that is the uh, fairy flit. Anyway, I can now you know, use the magic key. I'm going to show you what I'm probably going to buy, but you know. Down to four keys. Find the nut of life. Nice. When rain and sun meet, a rainbow bridge will be made. This is the ancient legend passed down here in Alephgard. Also, I hear a story that the stones of sunlight sleep within Radatome Castle. Yep. Anyway. Didn't find anything special. Do you know there's a small mummer lift to the northwest of the village of Myra? I heard that a strange old man is living all alone there. That's how you get the staff of rain, but anyway. So. I'll either be getting the steel armor or the iron armor, depending. And I might be able to get the steel sword, depending on how much gold I'm going to be raising while I uh, grind up. It's going to be magic, you know, it's going to happen quickly, but anyway, I'm a travelling merchant, this looks like a good place to show you my wares. Yep. Let's have a look. Buy another torch. Because I will, pardon me, be going back through. But, you know. Found the Wing of Chimera, yep. Ah, who are you? Get out of here while I'm getting dressed. You're a bunch of pixels to me, I couldn't tell. From your appearance, you seem to be an admirer of the hero Rotto. However, in reality, the personal history of Rotto is clouded in mystery. I heard a story that he just arrived one day from another land. And of course, as you know, that happened. So, you know, they put this story in about Erdrick originally in one before it was ever really but you know before they, they probably didn't even think of doing the sequel so obviously Dragon Quest 3 that came later and they explained it and you know all these mysterious things about him ended up becoming true you know who are you sir you don't look familiar if you're a traveler I suggest you seek lodging at my mother's inn I hear that in this town there is a shop that sells magic keys. Where could such a shop be? Hmm. So at least you know it's fair and it gives you, it gives you a clue. Now that I know King Dragon has come and attacked, I won't be able to settle down and start my own business. There may be some weapons and armour in this world that are formidable enough to stand up against King Dragon. Before long this town will succumb to the demons. Oh gods. This is a place of prophecy. Don't tell me who you are because I already know you're a descendant of the hero Rotto. Have you visited the Holy Monolith? 
Inside that monolith, Sun and Rain will join. So the monolith below here is where I get the rainbow drop. Obviously it isn't a separate island in this one. It is connected. According to the ancient legend, Lotto travelled to the western tip of this land and created a rainbow bridge. I also heard that he entered the darkness from a hidden passage in the evil king's room. Traveller, if you meet with a descendant of Rotto, please tell him what I've just said. For sure they should find it of some use. They always say that when they're saying it to them. Which is quite funny, but yeah. So yeah, that, se that secret uh, behind the throne, you know, it's there. Anyway, I'm going to snap my fingers and there's going to be a level grind. <laughs> 